Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S to Root.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install any Android 4.1.2 TouchWiz based ROMs uh, such as the Biftor ROM. This is actually a GTI 9100 uh, ROM. Uh, it's a TouchWiz 4.1.2. I've got it running on my AT&T Galaxy S2 SGHI 777. Uh, before there was a lot of complicated processes, uh, but now it is very easy. So grab the ROM uh, that you want to install on your AT&T Galaxy S2. Grab a GTI 9100 uh, Android 4.1.2 ROM, uh, such as the Biftor ROM, like Wanam Light, uh, any of the latest, uh, anything touch with base, it will work. And uh, also, you will need to download a modem. Um, so I've got, let me show you here. I've got the, uh, I've got the modem for my phone and also Jabu kernel. I'll have links where you can get the bottom two files. The first file is uh, the Biftor ROM for a GTI 9100, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and install it. So you need basically the ROM file, the modem file, and also Jabu kernel uh, for your at t Galaxy S2. Once you have those three files, um, go ahead and boot into recovery. Uh, you can use that or you can use the buttons uh, for at t Galaxy S2. It's volume up, volume down, and the power button and just keep pressing three buttons all together until you enter a recovery. And uh, once you enter recovery, basically you're gonna install the ROM and then you're gonna install the modem, install the kernel and reboot and that's it. And this way you can install any GTI 9100 ROMs on, on your AT&T Galaxy S2. Uh, everything working fine out of the box. Uh, thanks to the Jabu kernel, we're able to do that. Uh, which has a built-in and all your buttons work just fine so once in recovery go ahead and do uh, most likely need to do a data factory reset um, I'm not gonna actually do one because uh, I just I just installed it I don't want to do it again and go ahead and install zip from SD card or internal SD card uh, I have it in my SD card so I'm gonna go ahead and find my ROM file so I'm gonna go ahead and install the Biftor ROM all right go ahead and install the Biftor ROM and after this, we're going to basically install the modem uh, because most of the GTI 9100 ROMs come with a modem. And uh, if you have a GTI 9100 modem on your i777, uh, you'll not be able to connect to your cellular network and not get any data. That's why we have to reflash the i77 modem. And also, we have to reflash the uh, Jabu kernel uh, because the button layout's different. Uh, some of the things are different, and that will allow us to. Uh, actually use any GTI 9100 ROMs. So this is a great method uh, to install any TouchWiz based Android 4.1.2 ROMs uh, that's made for GTI 9100 on your SGHI 777. So that brings up a ton of new ROMs you can install. There was a more complicated method before uh, where you had to change a bunch of files but uh, with the latest Jabu kernel it, um, it aims to fix all of that because it has it you know, in the kernel. It fixes all the buttons. Um, so it should be all good to go. And uh, this should install system. This should install the ROM here. And we're going to go ahead and install the modem next. Uh, should be any minute here. And I'll, I'll be back when this is actually done. All right, I think it's done installing. Uh, it's, not, it's flashing kernel, flashing modem. See, there's uh, the modem we don't want on our i777. So we're gonna go ahead and install the modem. So when that's done, go ahead and install the modem uh, wherever you put it. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the, uh, the modem here. This is the latest version actually, so you should be fine installing this uh, modem. And this will install the i777 modem back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install the Jabu kernel. And there we go. And the word around the town is this is how people have been getting uh, GTI 9100 ROMs running flawless on their i777. Once that's done, go ahead and reboot system. Uh, give it, you know, give it a give it a couple minutes, and you should have a booted. Uh, GTI 9100 ROM running on your AT&T Galaxy S2, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll just wait to make sure I boot it. 
Now, the first time it boots, it might take a lot longer than what you see here. If you probably have to do a data white factory reset, obviously I didn't do it because I already installed it. Um, but uh, just give it about five minutes. And uh, as always, if you if this has helped you, um, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button there. And also, if you have a Galaxy S2, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once a week with Rumble Week tip sacks and more stuff like this. And boom, once you get uh, some kind of screen, and uh, you should be all good to go. I already double checked uh, Wi Fi is working, phone's working, uh, my Bluetooth is working, my buttons are working flawless, everything working out of the box. Um, so there you have it. Now you should be able to go install all the GTI 9100 ROMs. Uh, anything that's TouchWiz based, not AOSP like CM 10.1 or stuff like that. Uh, I think there's another method for it, but I'm not going to go into it. But any TouchWiz Android 4.1.2 ROMs from GTI 9100, you can use this method uh, to install on your SGHI 777. And I'm just going to wait until uh, the welcome screen here is here just to show you. Well, you know what? We'll just skip it. It's working. Um, so try it. And uh, I highly recommend Biftor ROM, by the way. Um, you can grab it. And uh, yeah, it's, I'll, well, let's give it a couple more seconds. It's almost done. Uh, and I'll show you my Wi-Fi is working. Bluetooth is working. You know, everything working out of the box. There we go. And uh, here we go. Give it one more second. All right, there we go. Actually, I don't have a SIM card inserted anymore. Uh, but uh, calling works just fine. And it's a little bit slow right now because I just started up. And let's go ahead and turn our Wi-Fi on. There we go. Phew, I thought that was a fluke. So it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. And let me go ahead and turn Bluetooth on. And you can see my buttons are working just fine. The menu's working, the home button, the back button, the search button is working also um, just fine. So anyway, see you guys soon. Uh, have fun with uh, installing a bunch of i9100 ROMs on your i777 and stay high on Android.